Good morning, you guys. We're just kind of starting our day here, and I've been like the worst vlogger ever. So my New Year's resolution is to get better about YouTube, and it's by not trying to complicate my videos and not worrying about being perfect and just like kind of showing you guys my life as a business owner and a mom and a personal trainer and you know getting to hang out with this guy and working on piles of laundry behind me and just real life so um today I just kind of wanted to give you a little peek at the home workout I did and um, we'll kind of show you some of my meals today um, I'm working with this really cool meal prep company called factor 75 so I'll show you some of the meals that I'm getting from them. I will show you the home workout that I did. So I know for some people home workouts are really hard to kind of like get focused and stay motivated. So a few things that I really like to do before a home workout. One, put together an awesome playlist for the length of time that you want to work out. So if you're trying to get like a 35, 45 minute workout done, make a playlist that's that long and you have to, go, you know what your last song is, you have to make it to that last song and then that'll kind of like keep you motivated. Number two is kind of setting everything up ahead of time and kind of giving yourself a space that maybe isn't like a total fancy whole home gym, but it's kind of like your set area to work out. And number three is having as few distractions as possible. If you can do it during your child's nap time or say if you can carve out time with your partner to kind of give you that relief, your phone away, things that will keep you from finishing your workout and you'll kind of like busy yourself with something else. Try to go somewhere where you can really just focus on getting your workout done. So this workout, I started by warming up with just some body weight workouts. Um, I'm starting with a sidestep shuffle. So this workout comes up often in my group challenges. Um, and then I'm just doing just a few different moves to kind of warm up the glutes and get my quads activated before I start lifting. Resistance bands are one of the best and most inexpensive at home workout tools. Here I'm showing a slingshot. So this is like the Rolls Royce of resistance bands. This one goes for around $35 or so, um, while other resistance bands can be as cheap as like 10 bucks for a three pack. Resistance is so much tighter on this one. I definitely think the extra cost is worth it. When doing home workouts, I generally focus on HIT, which means you're gonna focus on bursts of exercise followed by short periods of rest and these can be active rests or these can be just full-blown rest periods so generally my workouts are all movement you never stop moving so with this type of training it keeps your heart rate up and you burn more fat in less time I'm about to have one of my Factor 75 meals. So the breakdowns are really awesome on these. They put the macros and everything. So if you're tracking, it makes it super easy. Um, but this one has a total of 530 calories, 33 grams of fat, 24 grams of protein, and 41 grams carbs, eight grams of fiber. And it's like a little butternut squash lasagna. It's been my favorite so far. And I like to put it um, on a real plate. I feel like it feels less like to-go food if you actually remove it from the container. So that's lunch. So dependent on my schedule, sometimes I'll hit two a day workout. So here I'm doing a little arm workout. Um, I'm starting with renegade rows. These are pretty intense. You can do this um, starting by just doing a push up and then raising one arm straight up to the air and then working your way up to doing the rows with the dumbbells. Um, and then I focused on doing some military presses here. I'm dropping my elbows a little bit lower and slower um, than normal to really focus on feeling the burn in my shoulders. Um, I've been feeling a lot of trap takeover, so I'm just really trying to focus on feeling this in my delts. to burn out and kind of cool down with shoulder opening exercises and resistance bands are a great way to work on mobility um, and kind of burn out whatever mus muscle group you're working on uh, and that can also apply to upper body. 